लेक्चर नंबर वन में जुबान के सफर का जिक्र वी वर टॉकिंग ऑफ द जर्नी ऑफ लैंग्वेज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मदर टंग एंड नेशनल लैंग्वेज देन नेशनल लैंग्वेज एंड इंटरनेशनल लैंग्वेज एंड देन द रोल ऑफ ग्रामर वन एक्सप्रेशन टू स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन थ्री करेक्शन so today we are taking up tenses first of all simple tense the most important thing in simple tense is that there is no principal verb that is action verb this is the most important point about simple tense it is the use of forms of be is am are was were been being eight forms other verbs have only three forms it is something exceptional be it has eight forms and the use of be give is you the state of being jise urdu mein aap pronoun kehte hai hai tha the hoga ye iski range hai lekin in sab mein helping verb akela istemal hota hai प्रिंसिपल वर्ब नहीं आता तो ये बी की शक्लें हैं जो बीइंग यानी होना के मानी देती है और दूसरा यूज ऑफ हैज हैव हैड दे गिव द स्टेट ऑफ हैविंग पोजेशन पास होना किसी के पास होना किसी चीज का हैज हैव हैड हैज एंड हैव फॉर प्रेजेंट एंड हैड फॉर पास्ट वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन हैज एंड हैव हैज इज यूज विथ थर्ड पर्सन सिंगुलर ओनली एंड विद द रेस्ट वी यूज Here are examples. He is absent today. Is is the verb. Are you a dependable person? Are. This is a question. They will be there. will be to help him words will akela is not enough you add be will be over <clears throat> she is very beautiful is we are very happy today are is he not happy there is question i am not his friend i am am i not trustworthy trustworthy dependable काबले एतमाद 
well these example show you the use of be given you the state of being bolo and then he had a good house had they have good relations with each other had wo ek dusre ke sath dostana taluqat rakhte hai rakhna this is the state of having rakhna she has a very good story book has uske paas ek achhi kahaniyon ki kitab hai urdu mein dikhe पास होना इट हैज द सेम मीनिंग टू हैव पास होना टू हैव सो दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ द सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ सिंपल टेक्स ओनली हेल्पिंग वर्ब हैज बीन यूज इन ऑल दीज एग्जाम्पल्स is that clear okay some of these sentences are interrogative and some are negative we have to understand the difference between a positive and an interrogative and a negative sentence come to this <laughs> can't we get rid of grammar what will be your answer kya hum grammar se jaan chhuda nahi sakte kya zaruri hai ki zaruri sikhenge you can If you are learning a foreign language, you must study its grammar. It is a must. It's not your will. It is a compulsion. You can't move a step forward without learning the grammar of the language. Clear? Cannot we get rid of grammar? No. the answer is no one thing more is clear no is used for an answer the question is cannot we get rid of grammar and the answer is no if you write not here not it will go wrong no answer not comes after the first verb helping verb to get a negative sentence not comes after the first helping verb not is for negative no is for answer not is for getting a negative sentence you cannot change them you have to use no at its place not in place of not is that clear no answer not negative he is no going to lahore wrong it is a negative sentence he is not going to lahore 
just try to understand the difference between not and no it is very important usually the student goes wrong here clear your mind not for negative sentence no for answer can you give me a book no or yes नॉट किसी तरह नहीं तो जस्ट नोट दिस पॉइंट फर्स्ट हेल्पिंग वर्ब कम्स बिफोर द सब्जेक्ट ये इंटेरोगेशन है फर्स्ट हेल्पिंग वर्ब इफ देर आर टू हेल्पिंग वर्ब्स विल बी not will be used after the first helping verb to make it negative and the first helping verb would be placed before the subject to make it an interrogative sentence first helping verb mind you only first helping you are not to change the place of not it will remain wherever it is if the sentence is interrogative as well as negative not will remain there and you will pick up the first helping word and place it before the subject first helping word comes before the subject interrogative not is used for answer ye main abhi explain kar chuka hu to no or not the difference is clear no as equal to not plus any no is equal to not plus n if we can convey the sense with no why do we use not any two words are equal to no alone why do we use not any we use not any when we want a stress there is not any person in the room not any there is no person in the room ordinary sense there is not any person in the room this is stress zo de ke kena keh raha hu not any कोई भी नहीं दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन नो एंड नॉट एनी नो इज इक्वल टू नॉट एनी अब ये नहीं आप कर सकते कि यू यूज ओनली नॉट नो यू विल यूज नो एलो or not any both and i have told you the difference if it's an ordinary answer you say no if you want to give emphasis stress you use not any have you any money any money for question there are some boys in the room some positive any interrogative 
He has no relatives here. यहां उसके कोई रिश्तेदार नहीं है No. No. Or not any. He has not relatives here. No. I have not any money. Negative. For negative and interrogative, you use any. For positive, you use some. I have some money. Have you any money? I have not any money. The difference is clear. Any for interrogative and negative sentences. And some for positive sentences. He has lost some weight. Not any. Some. So that is the difference between any and some. I have not any money. You could write no. In place of not any, but I have told you the difference. You have to show the emphasis. So you say, I have not any money. Not any money. I have no money. I have not any money. See the difference. I have some money. Okay. मेरे पास कुछ रुपए हैं सम इट इज नाइट अ नेगेटिव नॉर इंटरमीट इज देयर एनी ट्री क्या वहां कोई दरख्त है इंटरमीट इज देयर सम ट्री नो इट इज ए क्वेश्चन In interrogative and negative sentences, we use any. In positive, we use some. Is that all? Now, words used in a sentence. It is necessary. to introduce to you what kind of words you use in a sentence in english here is first noun second pronoun third helping verb fourth principal verb five adjective six adverb seven conjunction eight preposition nine 
मॉडल्स वी विल डिस्कस ऑल दीज वर्ड्स इन ए सेपरेट लेक्चर थर्ड लेक्चर टूमारो वी शेल टेक अप द वर्ड्स यूज इन ए सेंटेंस हेर इज द लिस्ट इतने काफी है फिलहाल टेन इंटरजेक्शन we shall take up these words tomorrow then our introduction to the basics of english language will be in your grip and from simple tense we shall move towards active and passive sentences we shall see the difference between active and passive and simple and active and simple and passive to her Well, here are some words which you should know in this lecture also. In detail, we shall take up them, take them up here at their own place. But here. Yeah. what is the difference between it and this these are the words which you have to use in the very beginning so you should learn something about them early on what is the difference between it and this it is equal to this plus something Eight plus something. Eight alone. This will something. ये वजन जेन में रखता है. कभी-कभी अकेला एक जो है, वो बड़ा अजीबो गरीब लगता है. It refers to the refer to something that has already happened. he has a computer it is very good we have said something before it and it refers to that alone it refers to the thing which we are discussing okay it and this so it grammatically is equal to this and the thing we are after then it is used for time day date week month year century 
okay not this this is a good mod Is the it is the 12th of March. It is the third week of March. It was March. It was April. It was June. It was 1965. It was the 11th century. It, not this. That's all for today.